Hello everyone. The sound quality is going to be really bad today, but bear with me, because I want to show off this voxel engine. This voxel engine, as you can see, does not exactly produce square voxels. This is intended to let us draw various technological items, for example, chairs or TVs or cups, rather than things like landscapes. Now you can see I've just drawn a tube, and the tube has a nice rounded look to it that you might get out of something like a cable or something similar. Let's go ahead and turn it into a key. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build an old school key, actually let's make it a little smaller than that. I'm going to build an old school key um, grip here on the back like so. And you can see that the circle in the middle is not exactly square. It's got a rounded set of... it's, it's fairly rounded. I'm going to polish that a little bit, but it's already pretty rounded, and the outsides are also rounded. And we can also give it little extensions like this. And you can see that it's all fairly rounded. So what if we wanted to... Oop, I just added a block where there shouldn't be one. Goodbye. Um, what if we wanted to make this look a little bit more technological? Well, the other cool fact about this is that since it's not intended to build terrain, you can add blocks that aren't very possible. You can add logical blocks. So I'm going to go ahead and add myself some invisible blocks. Oh, too many invisible blocks. There they are. And you can see that the invisible blocks create a nice crisp outline at the edge of that key and that'll carry over into the actual object that we create and put into the game, but the invisible blocks will be gone. So you can create yourself some cool technological items by hardening the edges in the spots you want to harden the edges, sort of like a mold. So you can see we've got nice smooth edges around the outside ring of the key, but we've got nice sharp edges right there, and we can do the opposite here. So we could do something like this. and we can get a nice smooth edge around the tip of the key while having a nice solid edge down here. See? Now I haven't built the uh, ability to um, color these or texture these just yet, but I have some cool ideas with that too. This is going to be what forms the basis of my uh, of, the, of the prototype that I'm building. The, uh, you can, every player can make their own models as they would like. And, uh, and put them in the game. So this is how you're going to do that. Well, this is the early, early prototype of how you're going to do that. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this, and let me know what you think.